Did it take long to, to do the deal once they came to you? No, not at all. Not at all. It was, um, I, I love this place and I've, I've got so much to, to give back to this place. And, uh, you know, as soon as the, uh, the opportunity came up, it was, it was pretty much... Um, Pretty much done straight away. I, um, you know, we still got so much to do here, and I want to be a big part of it. You still have some footy to play after this contract, but given that all you've given to the club and what they've given you, do you, do you see yourself as a one club player eventually? Oh yeah, look, certainly I'm. I uh, don't expect to go anywhere. Um, as I said, I absolutely love this place and uh, would do anything for this club, and and that's certainly what I'm, I'm trying to do now, and, and certainly what this group's trying to do. And, uh, I'm just glad I'm, I'm still a part of it for the next for the next few years. And you had that motivation coming out of the, the dark times, and then the last couple of years it picked up. Obviously, it was disappointing last year. You got that motivation back to um, really get back up there. Yeah, certainly, and, and I think we've seen already this preseason the motivation is certainly there with this group. And um, you know, we were extremely disappointed with the results this year, and uh, we've got so much more to prove. And look, we, uh, we we did go through the dark dark times, and, and certainly our supporters and that did too. And um, we're all really disappointed with this year and, and we want to make amends for that and, and we've certainly uh, taken some steps forward this pre-season in doing that. So I guess the contract just pushes you closer, doesn't it, to being a one-club player, just confirms that that's probably going to be that case. Yeah, I think it'll take me till I'm 31, so I'm uh, getting getting over the uh, over the hill then and uh, it's tough to play footy after 30, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'm very fortunate to, to be on for, for another year and certainly I'll, I'll hope to be a part of this club forever. How do you feel about that given the fact there was that period where you were tossing up between Port and Geelong. Now that you've further consolidation that, that you will be a one club player. Yeah, look, I'm extremely happy that um, you know, I'm, I'm able to call this place home. Uh, I think you know, once you, you walk in the doors as a, as a young kid into the Port Adelaide Footy Club and you become part of the family and, and I'm very, very lucky and very fortunate to be a part of it for so long. And, and um, you know, we, as I said, we did some, some hard times and uh, there was certainly some some challenges for this group and, and we've been able to keep a, a lot of players here and uh, that's been a, a credit to the club and, and now I'm, I'm very fortunate to be still a part of that for the next few years. And clearly it's something you tossed up for half a season, six months probably at the time? At the time? Yeah, yeah look, look it, was, it was certainly a, a difficult time for the club and a difficult time to, uh, for myself but it was more about the family as I spoke about at the time and, and, and this is uh, uh, another family for me and I'm, I'm very fortunate to be a part of this family. Did you run it past Mumba and the assistants before you signed this time, or they've accepted this is where you are? Yeah, I think uh, look, they've certainly accepted. My my younger sister's over here now and lives with me, and it's uh, it's been great. And, and Mum comes over a fair bit now that I've got a, 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 my sister over here. So, uh, but certainly it's always something that I run past Mum and uh, and my family, and, and they're extremely happy that I'm still a part of this club, and and they're a part of the club as well. A lot of players have re-signed in the past few years to long-term deals. How important is it that Port stitches up Wingard and Wines? Oh, look, I think it's uh, you know be a huge plus for this club if if we're able to get their signature. They're a, a huge part of our future, and uh, I think you know the way we're we're building our um, you know the brand of the club and, and internally uh, you know the expectations and, and things like that inside this club and then what we stand for. I think we're able to we've been we've shown we've been able to hold our players, and, and we're hoping we can do that with. Uh, you know, with Chatty and, and Ollie as well, and uh, you know, hopefully in the future we're, we're able to get those signatures because they're a huge part of this club. Do you expect them to sign this week? I uh, hope so. I hope so. I don't really know too much about it, so uh, fingers crossed that, that it happens. How's the uh, pre-season going? Is uh, always a lot of talk about Virgo's program. Is it any different this pre-season? Well, I guess the the big difference is we haven't we haven't been on a trip. Uh, you know, it's all in all in Adelaide. But look. I don't think it changes too much. Um, you know, obviously the intensity seems to go up every year. That's what it feels like, and um, you know, our training won't change a hell of a lot. We think we've we've um, you know put a, a really good program in place, and, and Berger and his team have been fantastic. And uh, look, it's certainly been very solid. Uh, the boys have been challenged. Uh, we've been here three weeks now, the older guys, and we've certainly been challenged every session. And it really comes down to uh, the playing group and and how much we want to get out of each session, how much we want to improve, what does uh, improving and uh, you know, getting to that next level mean to us. And that's certainly uh, the challenge where we're challenging each other on and um, you know, I think we've been really good at it so far this pre-season. We want to improve, we want to get better and we know we've got to, we've got to get better if we want to be the best sides in the comp. Do you still get the benefits out of not going away? It's always a good team bonding yeah, it is, and, and that's probably the biggest thing is, is going away as a group and, and staying in a hotel together and, and bonding. But we can certainly do that here as well, and uh, certainly the training doesn't change. Uh, it's just as hard here as it would be over there, and um, you know we're enjoying it, and, and we're still uh, around each other, you know, nearly all week, and 
Um, you know, so you still get the bonding exercises, and but we do it activities out in the ground where they're extremely hard and we've got to get each other through and they're, they're the ones that, that really help your group uh, come together. Trav, why, why has Port able to retain its players, especially those from interstate, like yourself, whereas the Crows, obviously Danger's gone back to July and they've lost a lot of players, you know, Tiffany Gumston and others in recent years, but Port actually has attracted more players, you know, Tim Tumpus and Dixon coming here as well. Why have they able to do that? Yeah, look, I, I can't speak for the Crows and, and what they do, but certainly um, we couldn't attract players three or four years ago. Um, but we, we, we believe that we're, we're building a, a pretty quality um, you know, culture around this club that the players want to be involved in, the players want to come to. And, and we're hoping that players outside see our, uh, see our club as somewhere they want to come. I guess Adelaide Oval really helps. Um, but certainly our culture is the biggest thing. We want to, to make sure that you know, our players really enjoy coming into the club and really enjoy being here. And I think we've got a, a pretty good group that are pretty tight. Uh, and once you get in here, you don't really want to leave. It's like a family. And, and, and that's what I've spoken about in, in the years that I've signed on is it's just a, it's a big family and, and we're very fortunate to be a part of it. And I guess that's why we've been able to hold a lot of Victorian players or interstate players and, and then fortunate enough that we're playing some good footy now and we've got some really good coaches and medical staff and these people on board that people want to come here and experience what it's like to be a part of this family. Who drives that? Oh, look, it's, I think it's, it's the whole club. It, it starts with Koshi, it starts with Keith, Ken, the leadership group. I think that's, it's something that we, we believe in uh, as a, I suppose, as a leadership group and uh, leaders of the club that we really want to drive. And then, and then the players just buy into it. Um, and it's just an enjoyable place to be around. So that make it hard for players to leave as well? It is hard, it is hard to leave and, and, and certainly I guess the interstate players have found it hard to leave because it's such a great place to be around, and we hopefully, hopefully, we can, we can keep that for for the years to come and, and keep that culture. You know, I think you know, the biggest thing that that uh, you know we really want to stand by is we leave the place uh, better, leave the club in a better place than when we first got here. So uh, that's certainly something we, we really stand by. Anyone in yeah. particular training wise, just That's with one. pre-season training this year, anyone sort of taking your catching your eye? Oh look, so far it's only been a couple of weeks, but I think Jimmy Tompas is one that's certainly um, you know come over. We haven't seen too much about him, but I've I've just loved the way he's gone about it. Um, you know, he's he's with Bossy nearly every day for three or four hours trying to trying to learn, uh, and it's exactly what we we want from our for our young guys or guys coming to the club that are just willing to work hard, and, um, and that's exactly what he's done. And, and it's sh- he's shown it already out on the track that, that the work he's doing off the field that's starting to, to come into the uh, into the training sessions and. But for anyone who wants to come in and fit into this club, you just got to work hard and, and be humble, and that's certainly what he brings, and it's uh, it, it's great for him to come in and do that. Is Charlie going with that as well? Yeah, look, he's he's been exactly the same. Uh, he's just come in and just wanted to work hard. He's already had that relationship with Kenny, which is uh, which has been great. Kenny drives him pretty hard, and, um, and 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 he's just come in as well, and and just wants to wants to work hard and be a part of this group, and uh, you know that's exactly what we what we want to see. You trained indoors when you um, joined the main group? Yeah, I just trained indoors today. I hurt my toe the other day, so I was just a little bit sore. I can't surf for a little bit, which is a bit disappointing, but uh, I should be back in no time. It's only just a little sore toe. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks. 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 Appreciate it. Do you want a quick photo?